Bubba here. Did you get in touch with that Boy Scout troop? Yeah, tomorrow's okay, but they gotta start early. How about the Forest Ranger Patrol and the Sheriff's Mountain Squad? They'll start tomorrow, first thing? Good. Fine. See you later. Did that have something to do with me? Yes, sir, it did. But I hesitate to mention it. Go right ahead. Sir? Did you drink any of that coffee that was in that thermos bottle that you took on the flight? No. I didn't think so. And if my hunch is correct, you're a very lucky man. What hunch? The barbiturates that turned up in the autopsy on those two women were a lot more than anyone would ever take for air sickness. They were almost a lethal dose. Certainly enough to knock somebody out. No kidding. If they were in that coffee, they could have been put there by somebody who wanted to put you to sleep at the controls. Maybe somebody wanted to kill you. Now, why would anybody want to kill me? Mr. Brown, I don't know, but you are a celebrity. And there are a lot of crackpots in the world, and there's just no accounting for people's reactions. I mean, sometimes I even wonder about my wife. Not that she's a crackpot, but uh, when she's listening to your records, uh, the way she carries on. <laughs> <laughs> but not like she wants to kill me. No, sir, just the opposite. There's no laughing matter. This can be serious. Look, the only fingerprints that should be on that thermos are yours, your wife's, and the girl's, right? Right. But if some guy thought he was going to put you to sleep at the controls and kill you in a plane crash, he might have gotten careless with his fingerprints. He might have left them on that thermos bottle when he spiked the coffee. Lieutenant, man, you got some kind of imagination, you know that? <laughs> Still, when I get a hunch down here and I ignore it, I always regret it. I'm going to put a police guard on you until I find that thermos bottle. You might never find that thermos. We're going to find it. You might be right. It could have been thrown a long distance away when that plane crashed. But between those Boy Scouts, those forest rangers, and the sheriff's squad, we're going to comb every inch of that mountainside. We'll comb it and comb it. And then comb it some more until we find it. In the meantime, you're getting a police guard, sir. Now, that's nice of you. I really appreciate that. But it won't be necessary, Lieutenant. I'm leaving on a concert tour. You're leaving, sir? I sure am. When are you leaving, sir? This afternoon. For how long? For months. I open tomorrow night in San Francisco. You're going to be gone for months? Mm-hmm. I sure am. Why, what's the matter? Nothing, sir. No, uh... Mm -hmm. it just wasn't prepared for that, uh... Well, it's really been nice knowing you, Lieutenant. I've enjoyed talking with you, and I wish you the best of luck. Same to you, sir. What time's your plane? 4.05. Have a good trip, sir. Thank you. Where to, Lieutenant? Just pull around the bend and fall. Well, says he's going out of town. I don't believe him. Well, I planted a seed that has to take. He's going to do something up in the mountains first. Pull around the bend and park. All set, Tommy. Hey, thanks a lot, Chris.
looks like he's going all right. I'm not going to rest easy until I actually see you on the plane. I sure do appreciate that. That's mighty nice of you. <laughs> you must have some metal on you, sir. If you'll just put it in this tray here and come through again. Okay. And beer, head, balls, rectos. <laughs> Wasn't bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, sir. <laughs> then a thumb all in the closet. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, Colombo. Keep law and order while I'm gone. I'll try, sir. <laughs> Stumble down the stairs to meet me. Hey! Tell your wife hello for me. <laughs> On a Sunday morning sidewalk, I'm wishing, Lord, that I was stoned. Hey, mister. Oh. LAPD. Sir. He went. That's him and that one. Well, you can't win them all, Lieutenant. I guess not. I've got to call in.